Welcome to day seven of our wellness boot camp for quarantine. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And we've, we've lasted a week. And, you know, there's been, you can feel the stress mounting. I know we're, we've been focusing a little bit on stress management uh, with, the, with the stress away oil. That was more about my personal stress. But what about all these people around me? <laughs> I, would be, I would be fine. You know, my stress is fine, but these other people aren't managing their stress. What do I do about them? Uh, you feel that way sometimes? And um, so let's talk a little bit about the stress around us, different kind of stress, different kind of activity, uh, different ways we can manage that. But um, obviously we, we, we have to manage expectations. That's part of our own personal stress management, uh, is manage expectations, especially expectations of other people's behavior. Now, you know, we can communicate our expectations of that behavior, of those, of other people's behaviors. Um, you know, and, and mostly I'm, I'm talking about, you know, the close family, right? You know, this, and it's, it's better if we communicate, hey, I expect you to do this, or I expect you to be this way, rather than just, you know, have people read, read your mind. And so we all know that communication is, you know, an important part of those, of those relationships and managing your own personal expectations, which of course will help with stress. So, but that doesn't, you know, I can't make them do that, right? And I'm sure you're in the same boat. I can't, I can't make the people around me manage their personal stress, but I can't, I do have ways that I can help them uh, uh, with that. And I'm here, I'm going to lean on, I mean, so, so in other words, the, in the, the wellness category we're talking about in the, in the wellness strategy is, is the manager of stress part. We have stop the poison, flood the body with nutrients, manage our stress. And certainly we can, we can stop the poison in the, in the family dynamic, in the household stress dynamic. We cannot, we can choose angles that would not add, you know, don't, don't poke, don't poke the hornet's nest. Don't add, add things that are going to be triggers for people. Do things that will help out. Even if I did those things yesterday. You know, someone else is supposed to do the dishes. Well, do them again. You know, I mean, we can be helpful in the overall, in reducing the overall stress of the environment around us. And, and like I said, especially, you know, we're kind of all packed in and closer, closer quarters or more time, more close time together with everyone a little bit on edge. So we kind of give each other a little bit more latitude and, and try to keep as we, we, I use the phrase, you know, because you get, we step on each other's toes. Well, keep your toes small, right? I mean, you know, in other words, be able to to handle a little bit more. Don't be so quick to to be upset. Again, a lot of times communication is simply that, especially if you're talking about your spouse, you know, hey, did you mean to be hurtful? You know, that, that comment was hurtful. Did you mean for that to be hurtful? No, of course I didn't mean for it to be hurtful. Well, Having that actual out loud dialogue has really helped uh, for us over the years. Now, so, so you know, communication, very important with that. And uh, a lot of times before you say something, right, and this is where I'm talking about the, the stop the poison category, before you say something, especially if it's a reactionary uh, phrase, you're, you're just you're reacting to something, take a, take a conscious breath. Consciously breathe in God's wisdom, right? Now talk, now say something, take at least one breath. I know people talk about counting to 10, uh, you know, or, or something like that. That's fine. I just usually, I, I, I connect to a breath that really forces me to be, to be inward. It also invigorates my body and mind with oxygen and it gets rid of carbon dioxide, all of which will help me physiologically to be more balanced. So rather than, so in other words, there are things that I can do to stop poisoning the environment, right? Stop that. And then flood the environment with nutrients. You know, however that looks for you, we, we do, uh, you know, a lot of movie quotes to, to communicate uh, uh, stressful situations. And so we'll pick a phrase or a scene out of a movie and go, oh, that's just like that. You know, or we do a movie quote to break the ice. Um, you know, movies we've all seen, uh, and a lot of those are kid movies, <laughs> you know, the animated movies <laughs> and, uh, and we use, we, we will, you know, kind of joke about phrases out of those just to lighten things up. So there's a lot of different ways to communicate and, and, and help to, 
to add benefit to the to the conversation at hand. Um, so these are these are just talking points, funny talking points here about about managing the stress around you rather than just your inner stress. But there are tools, and the tools where we can lean on some of these tools. And, and we've got some of those in our starter kit that we've been talking about essential oils. And, and you, we talked about essential oils affecting the, the, through the olfactory system, affecting the emotional processing center of the amygdala. That is true, and it's, it's not just true for us smelling it, but it's true for, for the oils in the air as well. So if you dig past, again, past the, the, uh, the first 10 oils, in the kit, sorry, I'm dismantling this box. So you pull out this this uh, uh, oil, the 10 set, and behind that you've got the two oils, uh, stress away and peace and calming. And peace and calming is is the one we're going to pull out today. Um, and of course, this can be used to create a cloud of peace and calming. And you know, the this name is self-explanatory. Uh, to create a cloud around us, uh, you know, for calm. Just opening it up. Oh, it's just so soothing. Um, and again, you know, for three or four or five drops, this has uh, got tansy in it, so it's got that, uh, you know, greenish, bluish um, uh, thing. And I like to pull it over here, pull it over here. Now, if you're going to spend time outside, so this has got a lot of citrus oils in it, so if you're going to spend time outside in the sun, you don't want to put it on places that are going to be sun exposed. So um, it's perfectly fine under the shirt, you know, put it, put it on the upper, you know, here so that, so that it wafts up and, and I get that benefit. But again, what, I'm not necessarily talking about this for, for your personal, for my personal stress management. I've got tools for that. This is for the people, the cloud of peace and calming around me, more for those other people who can't seem to manage themselves very well. And this is where the, the peace and calming has been phenomenal. And uh, even when we were, uh, had, had the little kids, I mean, I'm talking, you know, the toddlers and stuff, they'd be all getting worked up, getting all, you know, stressed. And I would take a couple drops of this and I would waft it in their face and put it on the back of their head or in their hair. And it was amazing to see how the, temp, the tantrum calms down. All of a sudden they're off, they're off playing. Uh, it, you know, much more calmly, much more, and it happens in in seconds. Now, I'm not saying, you know, don't be don't be too disappointed if it doesn't fix every tantrum perfectly immediately. There are other reasons why, you know, why physiological things that might be going on that could cause a child to to be, you know, quite irritated and out of control. But we found this to take an edge off of no matter what any kind of tantrum, any kind of stress situation that the behavior problem. That, that a child was having, and it, it works on adults too. It's just that um, children don't, I mean, they, they kind of know you're going to do stuff to them. <laughs> adults in the house, not so much, you know, it's kind of, so again, uh, it's a little bit tricky. And here's where you put that in, in the diffuser and, and put five drops in the diffuser, especially uh, in your space, right? You get a diffuser for your space. And, uh, and you got the, the, the ultrasonic diffuser, put the water in there, five drops of that, keep that little cloud around you so that when people, and it does work, literally when people walk into that cloud, into your space, they're calmer. And, and it, it really does work. Um, I didn't tell you what's in it. It's a blend. I mentioned tansy. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, citrus oils in it. Let me peel this and, uh, or do I have to? No, it's right there on the front. Okay. Um, so it's tangerine. This is probably why I love it. I just love tangerine. It's tangerine orange ylang ylang, not orange, orange ylang ylang. It's tangerine orange ylang ylang, the flower, um, patchouli and tansy. Yeah, patchouli and blue tansy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful oil. And so this can really help in the, in the flood the environment with nutrients. <laughs> from a stress perspective, right? When we're looking at, at this love category, uh, food, water, air, and love, or the air even, this is going to really put the, put the flood, the nutrients into the air for helping us manage stress all around. And uh, you'd think you'd sell it by the gallon, um, but tansy's hard, a little hard to come by. Um, and so this, this one, it, it tends to be a little bit precious. So um, five drops in the diffuser you'll find really helps. And again, this is this is in this wellness category of helping others 
uh, manage their stress. Like I said, there's things that you can do in your behavior and choices that you can make that you can help or hurt the situation. And of course, we, we need to make good practices of those. Um, but but this can really help all of us and the people around us to to calm down. So happy wellness one day at a time.